Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we are going to create this motion graphics animation from scratch, and I will explain all the steps uh, that are required to create this. So let's have a look at the final preview first. As you can see here, we have a very smooth motion, uh, and we are going to achieve through CC cylinder. So let's start with it. So here I will just start with the phrase comp. So we have two two PNGs. I will start with this Indian version. This is an Indian currency, a vector file. So and I have rendered out the PNG. I will use that. So just drag it to uh, to this button to create a comp. And it will create a comp with the with the exact size of the PNG, and then go to composition setting and increase the composition size a bit. So let's have something like 800, and a little bit wider, and something on the height. We just have to give enough room to to rotate this PNG. Okay, we will be rotating this, so we have to give enough room to rotate this. Let's keep it 1200. And uh, here, press R on your keyboard. Just select the layer and press R to bring this option and uh, and select this and uh, click here on this keyframe icon to place a keyframe and then go about 10 or 9 seconds let's let's uh, just go to the end of the comp that is 10 seconds and uh, i will just put one here so that means it will do a complete one rotation okay so now that we are done with the bill liner comp you can rename it to like currency Now you will drag this currency comp inside and we will create another comp so just drag it to uh, drag it here and it will create another comp and uh, rename it to something else so that you can remember let's let's remain the final comp and uh, and uh, put the width or and height little bit long, uh, wider like 1920 and 1080 and uh, and keep the everything else uh, same and just click the ok see what done this is happening and as you can see here we are a uh, little bit of trimming happening so just go here and uh, you can just reduce the size to something like 80 or so maybe 75 it should not trim okay and we have too much of width here so I'll just reduce it a bit we don't need that much of space on the width as you can see we can just keep it like this and that will be it so you're done here so just select the comp now and uh, hit P on your keyboard now press this button to place a keyframe here here and uh, now just position your note to the left of your comb and uh, and now let's go to some about five second apart and uh, just position it back to here so the note will come from left to right have a look at the animation okay awful so now we just need to add some curve to this path so to do that take this tool it will be like this uh, by default so just click it and select this convert vertex tool and click this first first box this will bring you with the with the vertex 
and you can now drag this to give a path give a curve to this path okay so i'll just place it somewhere like this and here we have another handle so just click it and drag it up something like this will work and then now once you're done placing these handles so just click here this diamond icon to place another keyframe to the comb okay now just select all this keyframe and right click and go to keyframe assistant and select this easy ease or you can also hit your f9 key on your keyboard let's select this okay now uh, we need to go to this graph editor option so select this graph editor first select your keyframes then hit this icon and we need to give it a bit smoother motion right uh, right now it's pretty like default so let's have a look first and okay so we need to give a motion like it will come very fast and then it will stay for a second and then it will uh, go out very fast okay so first in stay then first out so to do that just first of all uh, you need to go to the speed graph option uh, by default i think it uh, it stays in edit value graph so just select this icon and go to edit speed graph now highlight this middle vertex and first of all drag it to the right a bit then drag this to the left yeah okay so let's have a look at the motion now you can drag it a little bit further to give it even fast motion just hmm. okay so it's good i think you can play along these curves handle to give it an even smoother motion but for this tutorial i think we are done here okay so you have this motion now you need to apply the effect so here search cc cylinder and drag it on the comp so now you can see that we have a little bit of cylinder kind of effect going on here it just wrap this whatever you place here in the comb in this comb it will just wrap it like a cylinder that's all it does okay so we don't have to play with position or anything else just go to first go to this light as you can see we have a 3d lighting going on here so you can just turn it off by light intensity turn it to zero and turn everything here to zero even the light direction so we don't need any light here because we are going for to a 2d effect not any 3d and uh, here in the ambient just put 100 and rest everything to zero i don't need any any of these details so after you after you're done here so it will it will reflect the color that is in your uh, that is in this comp okay okay so now we need to adjust this cc cylinders rotation option this is the only thing we have to adjust so what you have to do is come to somewhere like this where you can where this note is visible on the screen and uh, first place three i three keyframes here all these three keyframes now select your layer and press press u to you know uh, see these keyframes i hope you know that you know this already but i'm just saying so that the beginners can follow along uh, okay so here we have this now just go to the end of the screen somewhere like this not the complete end somewhere like this where this note is visible and we need to place another three keyframes so what you need to do is just x y and z select this and create uh, and clear create one keyframe here okay so now go go back to this first keyframe 
now we need to adjust a little bit so let's go on the negative axis first somewhere like uh, i think 74 is good 77 is good and uh, first we need to adjust everything on the negative axis okay uh, i think yeah it's good and A little bit maybe uh, maybe not I think minus 9 is good and now go back to this end keyframe and uh, now we need to adjust the end rotations so now we will do a positive side so here we everything is in the negative right so that negative 77 negative 105 negative and 9 and now we will do the opposite of it so let's say 45 46 48 maybe yeah i think 60 is good that is good you have to play with these keyframes and uh, with this you know position to find us something that you like I think I will go with this and I have already done it once so I know the keyframe values oh maybe something yeah this looks good so what you need to do now is just select these three last three keyframes and bring it to the five second marker and select this first keyframes and bring it to this first marker so now let's have a look at the motion okay so let's have a look again it looks good right i think it's a bit slower if you see this it's a bit it's coming a little bit slower so to fix this all the what you have to do is select all these keyframe highlight all these keyframe press alt on your keyboard press and hold it then select this last keyframe and bring it towards the left okay so let's have uh, something like four second i think five second is too much too longer so let's have a look now so you are pretty much done here uh, in the final video i had applied a solid layer so i'll just do it quick and i had also applied a drop shadow you can play with the settings to give it a better look there's no point in explaining it in this tutorial so i'll just make it very quick and yeah that's it so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe this channel for upcoming tutorials and also share this video and uh, let me know if there is any confusion or anything that you didn't understand in the comment and i'll get you get back to you as soon as i can so thank you and i'll see you in the next video